Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I'm here with game number two of my 19... Let's see, did that make it worse? Yeah, that made it worse. With my 1977 Dodgers versus the 1951 Cincinnati Reds um, elimination series. As you may know, if you watched last time, the Reds are down one game to nothing. They lost game one to the Dodgers in extra innings. And so if they lose, it's a best of three series. All of these series is use the DH and they are all best of three. So if the Reds lose this game, they will be eliminated and the Dodgers will move on to the next round. So, without further ado, the lineups are the same as the last time, with the exception of the fact that the catcher for the um, Dodgers is Johnny Oates, because Jaeger was injured in the first game, and he was injured long enough not to be able to come back in this series, no matter what, no matter how long it goes. So, we will lead off with Davy Lopes, and the pitchers today for the... Reds will be Ken Raffensperger, and for the LA Dodgers, Tommy John. And that's a 3-3, which is a walk. Davey Lopes leads off with a walk. Of course, we know he is good at stealing. He's a double A, so Raffensperger makes the mistake of walking him, and he will try to steal second. And that's an 18. He's gunned. I think. Let's see. Let's see what the arm is on their catcher. Dixie Howell is the catcher, and he is a, uh, he's a three, so he would, yeah, yeah, they do get him. I mean, I figured they would, because 18, even if you're a terrible catcher, you're going to get him. So, one out, Davey Lopes gets gunned out trying to steal. And now that brings up Steve Garvey with nobody on and one out. And that's a 4-3 on Raffensperger, and that's a ground ball to first base, and he's out. So he would have moved, uh, he would have moved Lopes over to second, and they would have had one out with a man at second, but they don't now. And Reggie Smith is up, and he gets a 2-5, which is a home run. Reggie Smith goes deep off Raffensperger. And that gives the, uh, and that's his second home run of the series. And that gives the Dodgers a 1-0 lead. And it would have been 2-0 if Lopes hadn't tried to steal. And Dusty Baker is up and he gets a 5-3. And that is a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a pitcher 5 fielding. Yikes. And that's a 17. Let's see what that is. 17 and 5 is a one base error. So Raffensberger throws the ball away. And that puts Baker <clears throat> at first on an error by Raffensberger. And uh, that brings up Rick Monday. <clears throat> Baker is a D stealing, so he's not going anywhere. And that's a 2-2, which is a fly ball A, and Monday is out. So there was a lot of activity there, but for all the activity, L.A. only got one run, and that was on a Reggie Smith solo home run. <clears throat> and so now the Reds will try to respond in kind. And they lead off with Lloyd Merriman against Tommy John, and that's a 5-11. First base X, first base is a one, that's Steve Garvey. 16 and one is an out. So Merriman's out. As he grounds out to Garvey, Joe Adcock is up. He gets a three five, which is a single. Tommy John allows his first hit of the game to Joe Adcock and Johnny Weirestrack is up. 4-7. That is a ground ball second base. 
The second baseman is Lopes, and he's a three. And that's a 14. That could be something. And it is. It's a one base error by Lopes. So Weirestrack gets a board on an error by Lopes. His first error of the series. Two on with only one out and Connie Ryan up. And he gets a 6-9. Six, 6-9 nine. Six, nine is a double one, single double asterisk. That's going to be a single double asterisk and score a run. And we are going to give it an earned run because even without the air, there would still only have been two outs on that. And that runner, well, that runner wouldn't have been in a position to score. No, he might have. He might have. So we're going to give it to him. We're going to give the earned run to John, Tommy John. Leave a comment below if you don't think that that's correct. Ted Klazuski's up with runners at the corners and one away. And that's a 1-5, which is a fly ball B, and scores the runner on third. Now that will be an unearned run. And Cincinnati, just like that, leads 2-1. to one. And there are two outs, and Stall Cup comes up. Virgil Stall Cup. And he gets a 2-11, which is a single. Stall Cup with his third hit of the series, and that's the third hit off Tommy John. Bobby Adams is up, and he gets a 2-6, which is a single, and they might send the runner. Connie, oh, wait a minute, is it Connie Ryan? Yeah, it is Connie Ryan. 1-12, um, to 12, they're not going to do it. Even though they know they're probably not going to string hits together, they're not going to take a chance on that. So Bobby Adams gets a hit, fourth hit allowed by Tommy John, and that brings up Dixie Howell. And Dixie Howell gets a 6-9, which is a double one single double asterisk, as we've established, and it's a single double asterisk and knocks in two runs. And they're both unearned because there should have been three outs by now. Um... Bob Usher is up, and he gets a 4-3. 4-3 is a ground ball, first base C, and he is out, and they're out of the inning. But not before the Reds can score four runs <clears throat> on five hits. And the Reds will be back at the top of the uh, order next inning. So... That brings up the Dodgers. Now the Dodgers got work to do, and that brings up the Penguin, Ron Say, to face Raffensperger. And he gets a 4-7, which is a pop-out to first, one away. Lee Lacey is up. He gets a 4-6, which is a fly ball to center field, so he's out. And Bill Russell comes up, and he gets a 3-7 which is a fly ball to left field. So the Dodgers go one, two, three, pretty harmlessly there in the second. And up comes, as I said, the top of the order, Merriman. Tommy John is still out there on the mound, at least for right now. That's a five, three, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a two defensively. And that's gonna be something, that's a 10, two. That's a one base error by Tommy John. So the stuff just keeps happening here for the uh, bad stuff keeps happening here for the Dodgers. As Tommy John makes an error for the leadoff batter and Joe Adcock comes up and he's got a 1-6, which is a ground ball double play. So Adcock um, grounds into a, into two outs and then Wyristek comes up and he gets a 5-10. Ground ball to shortstop. The shortstop is Russell, and he's a two. And that, I believe, is an out. So it is. And the Reds get nothing there, but they do maintain a four to one lead after two complete innings. And that brings up the Dodgers, and the Dodgers will lead off with. Johnny Oates against Raffensperger. 
He gets a 1-7, which is a ground ball um, to the third baseman, and he's out. And again, Johnny Oates is on because Jaeger was injured in game one. Davey Lopes comes up. He gets a 6-5, which is a ground ball to second base, and he's out. And that brings up Steve Garvey. And Steve Garvey gets a home run, a solo home run. And the Dodgers get another run on the board as Garvey goes deep off of Raffensperger. First home run of the series for Garvey. Only the second hit allowed by Raffensperger, and they've both been home runs. Reggie Smith is up, and he gets a 3-9, which is a strikeout. So he homered last time, but now he strikes out. Raffensperger strikes him out for the first strikeout of the game for Raffensperger. But the Dodgers do get one there, and they cut the deficit in half to 4-2. Connie Ryan up for the Reds. He gets a 5-8. That is a pop-out to first base, one away. Ted Klazuski's up. He gets a 4-4, which is a fly ball to... Um, Right field, so Klazuski flies out to right. Two down. Virgil Stallcup is up, and he gets a 1-8, and that's a ground ball shortstop, and he will be out, and the Reds score nothing in the third, but they still, after three complete, maintain a 4-2 to lead over the Dodgers. The Dodgers send up Dusty Baker here in the top of the fourth to face Raffensberger. He's got a 3-9, which is a strikeout. Second strikeout for Raffensberger. Rick Monday up, he gets a 2-10, which is a ground ball second base. So he's out. And up steps Ron Say, the Penguin, and he gets a 2-8, which is a ground ball shortstop, and he is out. So the Dodgers get nothing there, only losing by two, but with each succeeding inning, time gets to be uh, more and more of a factor for them. Not really time, but the innings and the innings left in the game. Bobby Adams is up. 6'10", is a fly ball center fielder. The center fielder is, I believe, Reggie Smith. No, it's not Reggie Smith. It's Rick Monday. He's a 2. That is an 8. I think that's an out. And it is. So, fly out to center for Bobby Adams. Brings up Dixie Howell. And Dixie Howell gets a 5-10, which is a ground ball to short. Shortstop is Bill Russell, and he is a 2. That's a 3 and a 2. That I don't know if that's something. Let me see. Nope. He's out. Ground out. So Dixie Howell's out. And up steps Bob Usher. And Bob Usher gets a 6-10, which is a fly ball center field. He is a two. It's Rick Monday. That is a 19. Probably a roll again. No, it isn't. No, nope, it's an out. So the Reds go down. One, two, three. That offense that they showed in the first inning has dried up very quickly. And so you've got to be thinking maybe the Reds have to hang on and not allow two more runs, at least. At least that's what I'm thinking. So Lee Lacey is up to face Raffensperger. He gets a 4-5, which is a home run 1-4 to four, or a double. And it's a double. So Lee Lacey lacing a double. Bill Russell up. He gets a 6-7. That's a ground ball second base. The second baseman for the Reds is Connie Ryan, and he's a 3. And that's a 7. Looks like it's probably an out. And it is. And the runner holds. 
So Russell down. You got to think LA really wants to score this run. Johnny Oates, but they have the worst part of the lineup to do it. Single one to four or a line out. And that is going to be a line out two away. And it's all up the Lopes to get this run in. One five, that's a single one to six. That won't get the run in, but at least it would keep the inning going, and it doesn't. He actually lines out to second base. So, despite the leadoff double by Lee Lacey, the Dodgers still come away with nothing there. And that's going to sting a little. It might come back to haunt them. As we go to the bottom of the fifth and Lloyd Merriman. And he gets a 2-9, which is a strikeout. Joe Adcock is up, and he gets a 5-5, which is a strikeout. And Tommy John also seems to have settled down here a little bit after that rough first inning. Wyristek is up, and he gets a 4-4, and that's a fly ball. Or no, that's a, it's a fly ball to left field, so Wyristek is out, just plain out. We go to the top of the sixth. In a 4-2 ball game, the Dodgers winning 4-2. Steve Garvey up. He homered his last time up at the plate. No such luck. This time he pops out to third. Reggie Smith up. He gets a 2-2. He's in his column, but he hits a ground ball to the second baseman, and he's out plus injury. And that's an 18, so Reggie Smith is gone. And that's going to be the second out. Um, but let me um, let me handle this. Well, no, I'll handle this in a second. And Dusty Baker is up. 112 is a oh my god, a ground ball shortstop. He's out plus injury. But he stays in the game. So Dusty Baker is only temporarily injured and can remain in the game, which is very good for the Dodgers, but they are going to lose Reggie Smith. Reggie Smith was their right fielder, so they need another right fielder. And also Reggie Smith will be gone for the series, just like Jaeger. And they will... They will bring in, at least for right now, they're going to bring in Glenn Burke to be the right fielder. Burke is a right field three. So they are losing a little bit of defense with Burke. Um, but he is a stealing A as well. So you take the good with the bad. He is a fast guy and running one to 16. But he isn't as good defensively as Reggie Smith. And uh, the, the Dodgers are out of that inning. We go to the bottom of the sixth. The Reds maintaining a two-run lead by the score of 4-2. Connie Ryan is up. He gets a 2-7, which is a walk. So let's see if Tommy John is losing a little bit of gas out there. Ted Klazuski is a 4-8. 4-8 is a triple one or a single double asterisk. Single double asterisk. And uh, so Klazuski with a single. And now the Dodgers will look at the bullpen. And they will get... They'll get Charlie Huff up in the bullpen. Um, and the Dodgers will also bring the infield in with no outs. So Virgil Stahlkup up with the infield in. 3-9 is a fly ball center field B. So that does score that run. Stahlkup with the RBI. 
Earned Run Aloud by Tommy John. Bobby Adams up, one away, infield back, of course, and that is going to be a pop-out to shortstop. Or no, wait, six, seven, no, that's a single. That's a single, I was looking at the, th the wrong column. So Bobby Adams with a single. Another hit allowed by John, and that's gonna be it. They bring in Charlie Huff. And Tommy John goes five and a third. He allowed six hits, struck out two, one walk, only two earned runs, but the Reds have gotten five runs off of him in total. And Dixie Howell is up. He gets a 4-7 on Huff, which is a walk. It would have been a single on Tommy John, but still the bases are loaded. With only one out. And so they have to bring the infield in again. Bob Usher is up. He gets a 2-7. That's a fly ball left field B. So there is an out. But again, it knocks in a run. Usher with the RBI. The earned run is charged to John. So that's actually a third earned run. And Lloyd Merriman is up, and he gets a 110, which is a double one to six, single double asterisk. And that's going to be a single double asterisk and knock in another run. And that's his first hit of the series, too. And that run is charged to Huff. That's his first base runner. And uh, Joe Adcock is up. And he gets a 2-8, which is a ground ball short, uh, ground ball shortstop A. And so he grounds out, Adcock grounds out to the shortstop to mercifully end the inning. But Cincinnati gets three runs there, I believe. Um, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, it was three runs. So Cincinnati leads 7-2 to two as we go to the top of the 7th. That can't be good for L.A. at all, <clears throat> who's also missing Reggie Smith and Steve Yeager from their lineup and will also be missing them in a potential, looks like it's going to be, Game 3. And remember, Cincinnati lost Game 1 in extra innings. If they had won that game, they could win the series right now. But, of course, that didn't happen, so they can't. Rick Monday is up in the 7th. That's a 3-8 single one, or it's going to be a line out to first. And that's what it is, a line out to first. Monday is out. Say is up. He gets a 1-8, which is a walk. The Penguin taking that walk. Lee Lacey is up. He gets a 4-10. 410 is a fly ball center field B. So that's two away. Lee Lacey flying out to the center fielder right between two big hits. <clears throat> and Bill Russell's up and he gets a 2 8, which is a pop out to short. And so Russell is out. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Wyrestrek is up. <clears throat> Four five is going to be a strikeout. Charlie Huff strikes him out. Connie Ryan's up. That's a five ten, which is a fly ball to center field. And the center fielder is a two. That's Rick Monday. That is a twelve. That's an out. And that brings up Klazuski, big clue. And he grounds out to the pitcher. Klazuski not really having a great series. He only has one hit, and I believe that was this game. But we go to the top of the eighth. 
Johnny Oates is up for the um, for the Dodgers, and Raffensperger is still out there. He pitched 249 innings that year, so I'm sure he's good for it. Two to six is a home run. One to six or a fly ball on Johnny Oates, and he does hit the home run deep to the wall and out. And the Dodgers have another run. So they're plugging away, albeit a little at a time, but that's not probably going to get them where they want to be. And that's the third home run allowed by Raffensperger in this game. Davy Lopes is up. That's a 4-9. That's a home run. And Davy Lopes goes deep and Amazingly, he has just allowed his fourth home run of the game and the fourth run for the Dodgers. That's the first home run for Lopes. Glenn Burke is up the replacement for Reggie, um, Reggie Smith. Yeah, 5-9 uh, is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for the Reds is Stall Cup and he's a three. That's a six, probably going to be an out. And it is. So finally, Raffensperger gets an out. And his Burke gets out by grounding to short. Dusty Baker's up. He gets a 3-5, which is a single one to eight. And that is going to be a nine. So he just misses a base hit. Baker out. And Rick Monday up. And he gets a 1-9, which is a strikeout. So Monday strikes out. Raffensperger gets him. But the Dodgers get two there. And now the score is 7-4. to four. The Dodgers are down by three. Which is a lot more doable than getting five in one inning. Which is what they would have had to do had they not gotten those two runs. But right now, the Reds have something to say about it anyway. With... Stall cup up at the plate. And he gets a 210, which is a single. So don't count out the fact that the Reds might score another run or two, tack on a couple more here. Second hit allowed by Huff. Bobby Adams up. He gets a 210, which is a single. So now they got something going on, uh, on Huff. That's the fifth hit of the series, too, by the way, for Bobby Adams. Third hit allowed by Huff. Dixie Howell up. He gets a 2-9, which is a single. And the bases are now loaded. At least. And that's if we don't send anybody. Let's see who the lead runner is. Virgil Stall cups a 1-13. He'll stay. But... The Dodgers are going to go warm somebody up, and that's going to be Lance Roushan. And Bob Usher's up with no outs, and the runners are all on all the bases. 6-4 is a ground ball third base X. The third baseman is Say, and he is a 2. That's a 14 and a 2. 14 and 2 is an out double play because the infield was not back, but probably just as well because you have to think you're not going to get those, possibly not going to stop the, uh, any runs from scoring anyway. So Usher grounds into a double play that causes two outs, but does bring in a run for the Reds. And now Lloyd, Lloyd Merriman's up, and he gets a 4-3, which is a fly ball to right. <clears throat> the right fielder now is the replacement, and that's Burke, Glenn Burke, and he is a 3. 18-3 and three is a roll again. 5-3 and three is an out. And so they get out of the inning with only one run allowed, which is probably about the best they could have hoped for once the bases were loaded. Nevertheless, that does make the score 8-4, to four, and now the Reds will need, or now the Dodgers, rather, will need four runs. And 
and Ron Say is up to plate. Is he? Or did he make the last out? I am going to say... Hmm. Because I, I really don't remember if he made the last out or not. I'm going to let him bat. I'll let him bat. He's got his card is on top. If he bats twice, he bats twice. Nothing I can do about it. Ron Say, and he is grounding out to third base. That's one away. That was to the Dodgers' advantage anyway, because their lineup gets really bad after Lee Lacey, who's up right now. 510 is a catcher card X. The catcher is... Dixie Howell, and he's a three. That's a ten. Ten and three at catcher. Is an out on dribbler. So Lee Lacey is down, and it looks like that's going to be... There looks like there's going to be a game three, folks. Bill Russell's up. He gets a one-five, which is a single, but Bill Russell says not quite yet. Sixth hit allowed by... Raffensperger. Johnny Oates is up. He gets a 5-9. Five 5-9 nine. Five nine is a ground ball shortstop. The shortstop is a 3. That is Stall Cup. That's a 4. That's probably going to be something. No, it isn't. No, he's out. And so that does do it. With, uh, with the Dodgers going down by the score... The final score of um, eight to four, and so this series will move back to L.A. for a game three. Um, Raffensperger really did not pitch that well. He allowed six hits; four of them were home runs for four earned runs. Luckily, they were all solo shots. Um, but he did get through the game and he did get the win. Um, and then the loss, uh, going to Tommy John. And, uh, so that's how we stack it up right now. And we will have a game three. That's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.